What would you do with a drunken sailor? Now you can see my under eye bugs. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you are not. While you're here, I hope you enjoy your stay. And if you do, maybe drop a like on this video and drop a follow. I've never said that before. How did I do? I'm also leaning backwards in my chair because I have ADHD. So if I fall and can, oh, I might actually kill myself if I fall. That is a sharp edge. Are we gonna stop? No. I'm gonna keep doing it until I die, I guess. Today's topic, What? what are we here for? Well, First, let me say today is a YouTube exclusive video and the podcast episode that I have up is a podcast exclusive episode. So you get two different pieces of content on two different platforms. But today on my YouTube channel, we are going to be talking about the before you finish your senior year of high school checklist. As someone who has already experienced their senior year of high school and senior year of college. That's still weird to say. That's amazing. Congratulations. You should be giving yourself a nice pat on the back. Congratulations, congratulations. You're almost done with high school and you can literally taste the freedom of college. When I was a senior, I was like, <laughs> Give me freedom. No. Never do that again. So your senior year should be fun because it's your last year in high school. The last year of not having to deal with financial burdens and your last year of, I guess, a little bit of like leniency. But with that being said, you're not out yet. You're still in high school and there are a few things that are still important to get done while you're still in high school. Have your fun, but also remember there are things that you need to be doing. So the first thing I want to go over is plan out your schedule for your senior year. Planning out your senior schedule can be and is very critical because it is the last year that you have to raise your GPA if you need to. Take any classes that caught your eyes, like maybe Basket Weaving 101. Shut up. And finish getting all of the requirements that you need to graduate high school. As the college app season looms in the near future, you want to make sure you don't jam pack your schedule with like a bunch of AP classes or ridiculously hard classes. Like you're not Albert Einstein. Maybe you are. I, I can't speak. Maybe you are Albert Einstein and you love that. But I would recommend don't jam pack your schedule with very hard classes. But also on the flip side, don't put your schedule with like too many light classes. Don't tell me what to do. Going heavy with your classes is gonna cause a lot of unwanted stress. And right now you should be focusing on having fun as well as preparing yourself for college and graduation. Now, if you go too light with your classes, on top of having probably senioritis like I did, you are gonna become lazy. And that is just not what you need your senior year because this is your last year. This is the time, like I said, you raise that GPA or you take a class that interests you. Don't be lazy because once you get to college, if you are lazy and procrastinate, yeah, that's what your grades are gonna do. You are crazy. This is something that my parents really like enforced in me. No one's gonna hold your hand in college unless you have like helicopter parents. And even sometimes like I used to have helicopter parents. Helicopter parents still might not even hold your hand. So you're not gonna get coddled in college and you need to start preparing for that. Well, yes, your parents are gonna want you to succeed in college, especially if it's on their dime. They're not gonna hold your hand once you fly the coop, but you need to hold your own damn hand now. You're in college. Be an adult. Your teachers and professors, fellow classmates, residents, whatever. Everyone's not gonna treat you like a child, like you might have been treated in high school. You're a legal adult now. You're gonna be treated like one. If you are one of those children who were coddled all throughout high school, I really think you should take your senior year to get a grasp on adulting. Even if you weren't coddled, I still would just recommend try adulting. 
sometime. You know, you need to go to the doctors because you got the flu. You call the doctors. If you need to call a college because you're confused on something for their application, call the admissions office. Call the college yourself. Don't have your parents call for you, okay? That's just, that's gonna seem very childish, especially if you're calling admissions office. This is another one that my parents really, especially my dad, pushed into my brain as I started looking for colleges. And that is to know and discuss your college budget. Some people, like myself, are lucky enough to have had their parents pay for their college or at least like some of their college, but others are gonna have to look at other options for affording college. I know that looking at the prices of colleges, especially if you're not doing it with a parent or like somebody who's helping you, I know it can be very intimidating, especially if you're gonna have to pay for college with like loans or grants or scholarships or off your own dime. Like I know that can be an intimidating thing. So it's really important to know your budget when you are looking through and picking out what your top schools would be. It is very important to know and understand the true cost of college. When I was looking for schools, I looked for a school that would A, either have a scholarship large enough that it'll cover the extra cost that wouldn't be covered by my parents, or B, would in total be under the amount of money that my parents gave me. Now, I got into my dream school, but I didn't end up picking my dream school because I would have been in student debt. And I did not wanna be in student debt. So I went to Rowan University instead. I don't regret it, but that's just, you know, keep that in mind. I didn't want to be in student debt, so I went to Rowan instead of my dream school. I know some people might not care about student debt, so then go to your dream school, you know? Like, go go to your dream school, go do what you would like, go off those scholarships and loans and grants and all of that stuff. But even still, I'd keep in the back of your mind that you're going to have to pay college loans off for quite a while after you graduate. And I was like, this economy is already fucking us all in the ass. What's your language? So I don't want to have to, on top of that, be dealing with paying off student loans. So I, instead of going to my dream school, went to a different school. And it's not like I got a different education. I still would have gone for the same thing. I still probably would have taken the same classes. It's just my dream school was bigger and a little bit more prestigious than Rowan. Now to piggyback off of that topic, I kind of wanted to touch a little bit on scholarships. So the fourth thing I want to bring up is you should start applying for scholarships as soon as you can. Surprisingly enough, you can get scholarships like starting at I think four. Your parents now would have to do that work, but you can also start applying for some scholarships as early as August, like the August before you're going to be leaving for college. So if you're a senior and it's August and you're going to be going to college next fall, there are some scholarships that you can start applying to then. I'm a big advocate for applying for as many scholarships as you can and really putting in the time and effort to get scholarships. Now I know that applying for scholarships can seem very daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Like you just take the opportunities that you can get and run with them. Like I know that applying for scholarships comes with sometimes essays or stories or like a lot of work that goes with it. But if you get that opportunity and you find a scholarship, take the time to work through it because that extra money going towards school is going to help you so much if you don't want to have student debt. I mean, even if you don't care about student debt, it's still nice to have like less student debt by getting a scholarship. Now you're at a part in your high school career where you have like a list of where you want to go to. Now it's time to figure out those schools requirements to get in. I know a lot of you are not Paris Geller, like from Gilmore Girls, so you didn't know since you came out the womb what college you want to go to. So I know that some of you are gonna have to actually do research into what schools you want to go to. So once you have those schools, 
it is time to look at those requirements so that you can make sure you can even get into the school. Now, if you are a Periscaler, you know, and you know that you want to go to an Ivy League school, the sooner you know about the requirements, the better, because then you're going to actually have time to prepare because there are so many things that really go into not even just Ivy League schools, but like requirements for schools. I would say most, if not all, schools have their application requirements online and a simple google search will do you wonders with finding out what those requirements are by looking through all this information before you start applying to these schools it'll really give you an upper hand in making sure that you have everything that you need to apply to these schools so you're already in your senior year and you are starting to do your research for like the colleges because you didn't do it earlier and you're not happy with your SAT score because you need a higher one for the college you want to get into. Doing this research even a little earlier would be nice, but doing this research your senior year will give you time to retake the SAT multiple times if needed until you get the score that you need or you'd like. And that just leaves a lot of room for correcting errors, for getting prepared for what you need for different colleges. Now I know studying for standardized testing is not what you want to be doing with your life, especially your senior year when you should be having fun, but it'll help you get prepared for everything that you need. Start looking up ideas or figuring out ideas for your essay as soon as you can. You don't have to write your senior essay before your senior year, but it's still a good idea to get a grasp on different prompts, different topics, different things that you could write about and make sound really good for college essays. And so when your senior year comes around, you're all prepared and you could bam, 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 get that essay out in like no time. Don't hate me for saying this one, but you should get a part-time job, especially your senior year. Even if you get scholarships or grants or whatever, let's face the fact, get it into your noggin and understand that college is expensive. And those scholarships might not cover everything. And so you're still left with a little bit of student debt or even everything on your college end is paid for, but now you don't have money for food, groceries, fun things, laundry. So if you get a job in high school, it'll really push you into the world of money management and the world of saving up money for whatever. It could be car, college, whatever. Just the world of saving money. And I'm not gonna lie, it would be nice to come to college with you know, maybe a couple of grand saved up so that when you get to college, you have some money for groceries or going out and eating or going out and doing fun stuff like bowling. Some of you are going to be like, bowling? I love bowling because I do trick shots the whole time because I suck at bowling, but you get the point. It'd be nice to have some money saved up for when you get to college. On top of that, you can add having a job onto college applications, which will show college administration people when you submit that application that you are a disciplined person, that you'll work for what you want, that you have good time management and money management skills, and on all, that'll equate to being responsible, which is what they want to see. So, you know. We're almost done here, okay? We got two more. Finally. You, in an early manner, should start asking your teachers for recommendation letters. Keep in mind that your favorite teacher is probably about a hundred other students favorite teacher and so you should really start figuring out and talking to people that you want to write your recommendation letters before your senior year because your senior year is the last year you can like naturally ask somebody or have the opportunity to get a recommendation letter as your senior year and a bunch of other students senior year drag along that's when people are going to start remembering or people are going to start telling them go get your recommendation letters and then your favorite teachers are gonna all of a sudden be bombarded with a shit ton of recommendation letters and it gets to the point where teachers will decline doing recommendation letters like sometimes it gets so bad with certain teachers that they have to say no I already have enough I can't do this and I would think with this letter you would want your teacher to put as much 
truthful and like energy and good knowledge and information about you in this letter. And I would assume you also don't want it rushed. So that's why I recommend asking before your senior year. Last checklist point. Go visit the colleges you have interest in. Going on college tours not only gives you the opportunity to see the campus, explore its different amenities and meet others, but also skip school. Yeah, you heard me, skip school. <laughs> I know a lot of you are like, oh, okay, so when can I sign up for my, my tours? I get to skip school? I looked like a skinwalker there. That was lovely. With that being said, though, your senior year might be crazy and busy. So if you're going to go check out an out-of-state school that's going to either be a really long drive or it's a flight away, I would do these ventures before your senior year or like the summer before your senior year. When learning about schools, you really, really, really want to make sure you can get all the information and details and bullshit about this school that you can. And the best way to do that is to go to the school. That's that with this video. You should also go check out my podcast and go follow it and rate and review it because they're going to be podcast exclusive episodes that you don't want to miss. Don't forget to like this video and follow if you want to learn more from me and comment down below any other questions you have or any experiences from your senior year of high school so other little baby high schoolers can read about those or if you have any other tips of your own that'd be nice put them down in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay safe out there it's the crazy world we live in and i hope you guys have a good weekend don't forget to go outside and don't forget to drink some water go pet a dog do something that makes you happy go watch maybe some more of my youtube videos I've got a lot of informative YouTube videos, okay? Have a good day. Have a good week. Oh, God, I look like a skinwalker. Okay, bye.